Yo, what's good? We're looking to the Soli Entertainment TV, and today we're going to be doing another review. I wanted to kind of bang, I wanted to bang out these reviews back to back, um, as I didn't get to do them uh, during the event because obviously I was waiting to do the Halloween uh, event to open the trick or treats, and then I was doing the Road to 325, which <sighs> killed me. Um, but as you can see, I do have the hand towel in here. Um, I don't have anything on it. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have it like emceed at all, which I guess I'll do right now, cause why not? Um, I'll MC it just to see if I can get anything decent. Um, the hand talon, I'll get to the statistics or the, uh, sorry, the specs on it in a second. Uh, six, seven, five, sure, whatever. Good enough uh, for the time being. So there's really not much for me to compare this pistol to. Like in the shotgun review that I did, I, I compared it to the chimney sweeper because obviously the chimney sweeper being that that shotgun that really just kind of like changed the game realistically with that unbelievable amount of knockback and just that boom 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 that repetitive shot shot after shot after shot um there's not much to compare this to because it's a it's a three round it doesn't say it uh over here um but it is a uh, three round burst fire uh, 50 percent pve armor penetration um it does uh 18 burst 18 times three uh it's 90 times three for a crit um so uh which that's eight so that's 54 uh for the regular and then uh 270 for the critical um and the knockback on it is 17.148 obviously not very high it's not knocking my it's, it's not gonna knock back much of anything oh it does say it right here it's three round burst right there it doesn't it just doesn't say it over here um 0.38 ammo which it's kind of weird um but you know and you know that's what they that's what they decided to choose um and i'm gonna wait for the next bosses to spawn uh guys because it's another set of slenderman and i'm kind of hoping the slenderman change because I want to fight the, this. I want to fight something else with with this pistol here. But I essentially just wanted to give it the basic rundown. So like, this uh, the Raya 55 does 71 damage per second on average, 298 with a critical. Um, so it's actually doing more damage than this weapon here um, on average. Uh, no, it's not. Sorry, uh, 289. Uh, it's 324. Uh, per second because it does the, it has slightly more than three hits per second it's 4.287 hits per second so you can't just count the 90 times three um the knockback on the ray is only 5.16 which is crazy that this tri it like literally triples it up pretty much no it exactly triples it up like to the t because five, five times three would be 15, seven, uh, 7, 7, 14, 21. Okay, never mind. So it's, it, it, it just about triples it up. Um, it has a lot more than the rest of them too. That's crazy. Just like all these guns coming out with the knockback, except for this one, apparently. Chain revolver is crazy with the 20 uh, average knockback per second. Damn. Five hits per second. I need to get my hands on that or something, boys. Because that's crazy. Um, but yeah, we're, I'm going to wait for the new boss run. And then I'm going to go and we're going to test out the pistol. See you then. Okay. We should be in a pumpkin tendril zone. Uh, let me just... I don't know why I opened my mouth. That was an accident. Uh, so this pistol here, uh, it is obviously a... Uh, burst a three round burst gun um the burst counts towards your critical so if you get four out of five criticals or i guess we're it's scarecrows it's that's not what it said but that's fine if it's scarecrows i'll, I'll take it it doesn't matter um the uh three round burst counts towards your critical so like you don't have to worry about if you have a four out of five burst rate or like a four out of five, sorry, uh, crit rate, you know, you hit four out of those five crits. Um, it's going to count for three or four full three round bursts. So as you can see, I have the uh, high enough crit to get the four out of five. 
so it counts as one uh it counts one entire burst as the one shot um so it does 171 damage for me of course you know you got to keep in mind i have a 90 percent damage boost um so this would originally do 90 damage per hit which i mean honestly and that's 90 damage for a critical y'all so that's again 270 damage per shot um there's just so many better things than this pistol i guess like even the even the 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 Rhea, even though it doesn't it doesn't do as much damage per second um it just seems to maybe it maybe it does more damage per shot you know uh because this this is only doing 171 damage per shot because i have 90 percent damage buff um it doesn't work that well on these scarecrows obviously and it's not very good for aggro uh per se um because i obviously i can't take care of that aggro now i mean like if i were to switch to this claw shot the aggro wouldn't even really be an issue it would just kind of get out of the way really quickly um obviously we uh reviewed this claw shot in the last episode um that i reviewed a weapon on um claw shots very good very good weapon um better than the chimney sweeper obviously uh they just every time they they release a new weapon it's usually better than whatever is before it and i guess this is technically uh and if i die i'm gonna lose a million big ones oh no um this is technically better than everything else that's out there it does do more damage per second so if you're for whatever reason using a pistol to grind per se obviously you're gonna want more damage per second or if you're just trying to kill bosses quickly or just get rid of something quickly uh the more damage per second obviously the better the the three round burst is nice um i wish they would have chosen a different ammo um and i don't know maybe just it just doesn't seem like it's to me personally it just doesn't seem like it's that good it's nothing amazing it's nothing to really rave about um the claw shot was very good but again that's not that's not what we are that's not what we're 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 uh giving criticism to that's not what we're reviewing right now it's um the hand talent so i mean i think I don't, but this guy does have a lot of health sorry i just i just rolled out of the side of my face dude i'm i'm, I'm absolutely wet from this hand talent um it's all right I, I don't remember what what bullet count i started with i think i was somewhere up in the 3000s because i think i had 15 like 1582 and then a 1600 so it was right around 3200 bullets and i honestly don't even know if i have enough bullets to kill all five of these uh, scarecrows here because i'm already a thousand down and i haven't even killed one yet so i mean i've done i've done a decent chunk of damage on some of their health but i haven't even killed one yet um obviously not a whole lot of one taps from this uh gun here um i do consider one tap just one press of the button uh so the three round burst still counts in my mind but um i mean you're talking 520 damage so we'll go through just like i did in the last video and we'll see what we can one tap with this with this weapon here uh but it looks like just having focused on this guy here uh we're looking at around 200 bullets uh again knockback's not crazy or anything um yeah he's probably not gonna stay in front but I'm trying to just just focus on him okay yeah so about 200 bullets uh for one of them of course with the <laughs> with the damage buff that i have so i mean overall per in my personal opinion i'm not very impressed um it's a decent gun if you're you know if you're a pistol player then it's a yeah it's a good gun if like if if that's what you're doing is you're being a pistol main obviously it's it's technically the best pistol out there in terms of dps uh but overall like damage per hit probably not you want to go with something probably closer to the raya or something like that if you're looking for overall just like crit damage if you're just trying to one tap shit um this probably isn't the gun for you but i mean you know i'm not having any issues with my fucking 68 percent speed boost of just outrunning this shit and just kind of backing up 
But again, that's because, I mean, I've, I've got a lot of implants and stuff on, so, you know, it makes it, it makes these reviews kind of skewed in a way, but it's not really the damage that I'm judging, uh, because obviously it has the highest DPS of any pistol, technically. Um, so it's not really the damage I'm judging. I'm, I'm judging the overall feel of the pistol, the three round burst, how it holds back aggro, um, what kind of ammo it uses, what kind of, like, the three round burst nature is a factor, and, like, just the overall, um, specs of the gun. And it, it, it is the highest hitting pistol, the highest damage pistol, uh, DPS wise, of course. I feel like I have to state that every single time. Somebody's going to be like, it's not, it doesn't do the most damage per hit. Okay, DPS-wise. Um, but it just doesn't seem... I'm not much of a pistol guy. Uh, and I haven't really reviewed any pistols. I haven't even played with any pistols. I'm going to keep it a bug with you. The most I've ever used a pistol was the... Uh, what's the... What's the one from the dust shop? The one that has infinite ammo. Um, that's the most I've ever used a pistol. I don't really use them, so maybe I'm not the best guy to be reviewing this gun, but it's super accurate, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I was just hitting them continuously off screen. Um, maybe I'm not the best guy to be reviewing this, but uh, I feel like the gun kind of speaks for itself. You know, pistols aren't, obviously aren't known to be the most overpowered weapons in the game. Uh, let me kill you, please, because I, I just want you gone so I can stop looking at your fucking depleted health bar. There we go. Um, but yeah, if pistols is your thing, uh, I, they're silent, that also counts, that's also part of the test, they're relatively silent, um, don't cause a whole lot of aggro at all, uh, it would be good for looting, I would assume, just the, the, the three round burst nature, it just hammers it in there, um, I don't know if you would be able to kill, like, without the 90% damage boost, I don't know if you would be able to kill a siren in uh, uh, Death Row. I almost said Saints Row. In Death Row with this pistol in a three-round burst without the crit. Like, with the crit, yeah, because I don't think they have that much health. But without the crit, you're talking, this thing does... I have a 90% damage boost, so it does, like... What did it say? Like, uh, 18? Something like that? Right around there? 18 damage? Yeah, I think it would be 18 times 3. So that's... It's realistically only 54 damage. So this is a gun that's all about crit. For the most part. Uh, it doesn't do that much damage otherwise. So... Uh, I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna call it with these Scarecrows, honestly. Um, and I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna grab the... I'm gonna grab the Trick or Treats because I still want them. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get enough to get, like, one of the pumpkin heads or something like that. Or maybe I'll just buy a pumpkin head. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna collect these trick-or-treats. And then I'm going to go see what kind of things we can one-tap with this. I might even take off... Well, it doesn't even matter if I take off my, my implants. Because during the event, you still have a 50% extra fucking damage boost anyway. Um... I'll tell you what I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and I'll see what I can one tap in terms of critical. I'm only counting critical. I'm not counting the non-criticals because it's pretty easy to get the four out of five criticals. And then at that point, you're pretty much balling on critical all the time. So I'm only gonna count critical. I'm gonna see uh what I can one tap with the 90% damage boost. And then we will go through and we'll look at the statistics, or sorry, I keep saying I keep saying the specs on the gun, see what the average damage per second is without obviously without the uh the 90 percent boost which is i think it's 90 obviously it was 90 so that's uh 270 per per burst um and we'll look at a list of like all of the enemies and see what their health is so uh let's go yeah let's go do that right now two we can one tap let's see here what y'all got oh i'm back in the zone let's see if i can one tap this guy i'm gonna shoot just in case i'm not on the crits okay i can one tap that guy i can one tap that guy uh, which is which is pretty insane because I mean like he has just about the most health, honestly. One tap that guy, one tap that guy, one tap that guy. Even without the crit, I could one tap that siren. But again, ninety percent damage boost. One tap the dog. One tap the normal rumbler. One to easily one tap that exploding rumbler. 
Easily one tap that spider. Anything else? Let me just let me just get that spider one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could easily one tap that spider. Um, there's no leaper around here, so that's fucking unfortunate. I kind of wanted to do the leaper. Obviously, I mean, if we can um, one tap those exploding armor, we can one tap those guys. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be about it. I don't see a leaper anywhere near here, so we're just gonna. We're just going to look at the Leaper's health and see uh, what we can do with that. Oops. Excuse me, sweetheart. Oh, now I'm slow. Uh, I will see you when we get back to, like, the, the specs on everything. Okay. And we're back. It took me a little while because I did a little bit more than I usually do i've been trying to add a little bit more to this format in terms of gun review i want to give you guys as much information as i possibly can um so i took these specs and everything and i i boiled it down to just plain basic no implants no nothing uh just what the gun does damage wise per hit per burst and per uh damage per second um, and this is everything here. So I wrote down all of the uh, health for everything that you would practically use this on. So like I didn't count like the mini, the small bloats or like uh, any of this stuff. I didn't, I didn't count it for this. Cause if you're going to be, if you're going to be in the wasteland, you're not really going to be using that for the most part. Um, so I just did uh, the stuff that's down there as well as like the regular, uh, the siren, the bloat, the tendril, the spider, the, and the brutes. Because if you can kill any of these in, in a specific amount of shots, you'll be able to kill any of these because they have less health. Um, but I just wanted to include the siren even though it only has 70 health because um, the siren and the canary because they're, they're pretty common to run into and they're the biggest thing you want to get rid of. It's like the first thing you want to get rid of on your screen, especially if you're doing something like looting. So, uh, we have the basic damage of the gun is 18 times 3 for a 3-round burst, which is 54 damage for a 3-round burst, assuming all shots land. Um, and then the critical with, which is 90 damage per shot times 3 for a 3-round burst, 270 damage for a 3-round burst, uh, 3-round critical burst, assuming all the shots land, with an average DPS of 77.17, uh, without, and a critical, uh, sorry 77.17 without critical 324.1 with critical um that's the the dps per second uh obviously the enemy's health is over here we won't really talk about that too much um but i did the time taken to kill without the crits the time taken to kill with the crits uh the shots needed without the critical and the shots needed with the critical so i added a little bit more than what i did last time um, I can't remember exactly what I did last time, but I wanted to break it down a, a little bit further um, and, and, and add this stuff in here just to show you just like how long it would take uh, and how good the gun is based on how, many how much damage it does per second, how long it takes to kill an enemy, and how many shots it takes to kill that enemy. So uh, the time taken to kill without the crits for the siren is 0.90 seconds, um, obviously. It's very quick. Um, the bloats, 2.5 seconds. The tendrils, three seconds. Spiders, nearly four seconds at 3.8. The brute is 5.1. Obviously, the brute and the leaper have the same amount of health, so it's 5.1 for both. Uh, the hazmat is 3.2. The evolved long arm is 5.8. Armored evolved long arm is 7.17. So, if you don't have any critical, obviously, this gun is all critical for the most part. If you don't have any critical, it's going to take you seven seconds to kill uh, in, in armored evolved long arm. And, uh, the regular evolved rumbler is uh, 6.47 seconds. The cystic evolved rumbler is 7.75 seconds. So nearly eight seconds to kill just one um, cystic evolved rumbler. And you guys, I'm gonna when I go through, I'm gonna skip the leaper and the canary just because the hazmat zombie is the same as the canary and the brute is the same as the leaper. So it's kind of redundant. I repeat myself doing. Uh, those two so the time taken to kill with criticals assuming obviously all of them land uh and you're hitting all criticals is siren is uh 0.215 seconds so literally like that uh bloat is 0.617 tendrils 0.725 spiders 0.925 so you get all the way down the spider before you even reach the one second mark um the brute is 1.23 seconds um, hazmat zombie is 0.771 seconds evolved long arm is 1.38 seconds armored evolved long arm is 1.697 seconds you shaved off 
over five seconds from not crit to crit. So that's 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 insane. Um, evolved Rumbler 1.542 seconds. Uh, Cystic Evolved Rumbler 1.851 seconds. Um, now the shots, I broke down the shots based on how much damage it does per hit, obviously just on with no damage boost, and then how many rounds that technically takes. Because again, you're talking, my headphones just shut off. I don't know if they died or what, um, but you're talking three round burst. And I wanted to count literally how many shots it takes. Boom, boom, boom. How many shots it takes as well as how many rounds that would take. Because obviously it's a three round burst, but it only swallows one round. So for the Siren, it's 3.88 shots that need to hit, uh, which is two rounds used technically, because you have to shoot twice. Even if you're, you know, you don't need all three of those bullets, you still technically have to use another round in order to kill the Siren. Uh, the bloat is 11.1 with four rounds being used. Um, the tendril is 13.05 with five rounds being used. The spider is 16.6 with six rounds being used. Uh, Brute and Leaper, 22.2 with eight rounds being used on both of those. The hazmat as well as the canaries, 13.8 rounds with five rounds being used. Um, the evolved long arm is 25 rounds with nine rounds being used. Um, nine entire bullets. E, uh, the armored uh, evolved long arm is uh, 30 and a half shots that need to hit with 11 rounds being used. The evolved rumbler is 27.7 with 10 rounds being used. And the cystic evolved rumbler is 33.3 with 12 fucking rounds being used. Um, shots needed with the criticals 0.77 for uh, the siren with one round being used. 2.22 for the blow with one round being used. 2.61 with one round being used. Uh, the spider is 3.33 with two rounds being used. The Brute and Leaper, 4.44 with two rounds being used. Hazmat Zombie and the Canary, 2.77 with one round being used. Evolved Long Arm, five with two rounds being used. So you went from 25 with nine rounds being used to five with two rounds being used um, uh, with all criticals, of course. And all of these, you can technically hit with all criticals. If you have the highest critical, you get four out of five criticals. So if you're on your first crit out of that five, you could technically kill all of these within your critical uh, cycle. Um, I don't remember if I said the evolved long arm, but five with two rounds. Armored evolved long arm, uh, 6.1 with three rounds. Um, the evolved rumbler is 5.5 with two rounds. And the cystic evolved rumbler, 6.66 with three rounds being used. Um... That's pretty crazy, the fact that you needed 33.3 rounds uh, for the cystic with no critical, and then 6.66, they did the swap, 333, 666, uh, and only three rounds being used. That's unbelievable. The gun is pretty much all crit, guys, for the most part. Um, and obviously, most people have some sort of deep of, uh, damage boost, but again, it's just the easiest to just do base level for everybody, include in case you are somebody who doesn't have any damage boost, but you still have this gun. So uh, that's everything that I know of. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the like the kind of the breakdown of everything so far. Um, I will be doing a poll, a community poll on whether or not you guys want to see this kind of stuff or if you just want to see the action of the gun and, and and make sure that um sorry somebody's yelling at my fucking hallway i don't understand um if you just want to see the action and that's it uh for the most part so uh people will get the get the poll on that so overall the gun is all critical if you don't have any critical or have very low critical it's really not worth it it's not that great in my mind again i'm not a pistol guy but if you are a pistol guy and that's what you like to use um I mean, it's, it's not bad, man. It, it, it really isn't bad. Uh, if you're going for something that packs a little bit more, just punch per, per shot, per critical, um, yeah, I would go with the, the Ray of 55. Uh, but with all that being said, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, the like button, subscribe button, share button. Definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought and what you want to see next. And definitely be sure to go down and turn on post notifications so we can notify every time I upload a video because you're not going to want to miss what is next. Thank you guys so much for watching.